Hey everybody, it's that time of year again. My favorite season is fall because, you know, Halloween. And I get to do all my creepy, gothic, scary Halloween projects. You know, I also enjoy going to haunted houses. I like doing all that ghost hunting stuff. So, um, I'm definitely in my element for Halloween. But uh, also here in Louisville, Kentucky, our leaves change. And it's just beautiful. I mean, it even smells different. It's just such a beautiful smell. Um, instead of just doing a video, I wish they had a way that you could, like, you know, uh, transfer smells. Because it, it's really awesome here during fall season. So, anyways, I did a first altered paintbrush, which you can see in another video. And I did another first for this video. And it is an altered spool. And I did it for the Craft Hole, which is a Facebook group. If you have a Facebook account, just look up the craft hole, and if you want to join, just uh, send me a little message or comment and let me know what your name is so I know to approve you because a lot of times we don't, you know, we don't approve everybody because we want, you know, very active people, not people that just collect groups and join and then never come back. So anyways, this is what my altered spool first looked like. It had thread on it, like sewing thread, and I took an X-Acto knife and just knifed down the thread and it all fell off and revealed this tube so that's the before and this is the after this is called vampires last supper and of course i love vampires so it's no uh it's no uh vampires from true blood it's not eric down there on the floor it's one of the bad vampires that the hunters came in and staked him while he was eating his last little glass of blood and then they you know staked his uh, skull on the table as well and as you can see I've got some um, <clears throat> grave stone um, punch from Martha Stewart around the bottom with some pearl trim I put tool as uh, the tablecloth I guess you could say and then we have a candle opera we've got a raven which is one of my favorites uh, we've got a skull with the nice little red uh, a diamond neat uh, stick pen is what I use to put through a skull and then we have his blood that he was drinking which I think is really cool because I used a teardrop bead for the top and it made it really really neat and uh, then I just use an antique uh, button you know just to uh, spruce up the the table but yep that is my vampires last supper altered spool and I hope you guys like it. Let me uh, turn it around so you can see it all the way. Let me just pull him by his foot here. Poor guy got staked through the heart. Now on the back side of the table is the uh, vampire Bible. You know, the book of Lilith with a little spider protecting it. <laughs> and so uh, the candle opera and the raven is double sided as you can see. I did stickle up the candle opera. I did uh, put a red rhinestone on the raven and some fun flock. I hope you all really, really like this altered spool because it's the very first one I've ever made. And I love it. Uh, I don't know what it is, but the last couple projects that I've made lately, I absolutely adore. Love, love, love. Most of the time, if it's a swap, I don't want to mail them out. I want to keep them. <laughs> So, uh, yeah, I really enjoyed making this altered spool. I hope uh, my group, the Craft Hole, is going to love it because, like I said, it's, it's uh, for the Craft Hole. And it was a challenge, and uh, it's my first altered spool. So, I hope you guys like it because I love it. Bye.